Here we have a basic program that has both an error and warning. Select the error check icon or go to the program drop down menu and select error check. Now you can double click on the error or warning to bring up that portion of the ladder. Since a counter consists of two registers, you will not want to access the second register in most cases. This will generate a warning. You also cannot end a wrong with an input contact. This will generate an error. If we delete the contact and also change the address on rung 3, we will no longer receive errors. Instead, a message will show how much memory your program uses. Once you have downloaded these changes to the controller, you will be able to use debug mode to monitor variables in your program. You can also use data watch to monitor values that may not be in view. Press add to enter your variable address and type. You may also want to monitor the status of your controller if you are currently connected. This will ensure that the controller is in run mode and all the system self-tests have passed. Lastly, you can check the diagnostics of the controller to ensure that there are no warnings or errors with the system, as well as check the I.O. information.